I want to be a job. I want to be a job. I want to be a job. You can't videotape me, sir. No, I, it's working. Yeah, but you can't videotape me here. But I, what do you mean? I am videotaping. Why? Of course I can. Okay. You, wait, wait, you won't tell me your name? No, I'm not going to. Are you wearing a name tag? Are you wearing a name badge? You're not going to seriously hide your name Why badge. are you videotaping, sir? Why are you hiding your name Why are badge? You um, what were you taking the photos for, just for yourself? I'm the director of communications here at the Department of Education, just curious. So I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page that what I'm doing is completely legal. Yeah. You can take pictures of the lobby, but I don't want my photo Well, then you shouldn't stand in a public lobby, ma'am. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. The trick is, you respect everyone's First Amendment rights and not just those that know the law. So, congratulations, you're doing better. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. This is gonna be a little bit of a different one. So, uh, we're actually going back to a place uh, to do another little audit on a place that most of you probably haven't seen before. On July 18th, we paid a visit to the Department of Education in downtown Columbus. Not to be confused with the Board of Education for the Columbus City Schools. This is the Department of Education. And on July 18th, when we visited the Department of Education, a fellow by the name of Troy at the front desk probably set a new record for the fastest amount of time. Well, he ranked up there. The Board of Education actually came outside, but Troy, inside, within eight seconds, told me, eight seconds of walking in, told me that I couldn't take pictures inside. So, needless to say, I continue taking pictures inside. That video was only seen by about 27,000 people before it was taken down by YouTube. Um, we were relatively new at the time. We made a, a tiny mistake and that video was taken down and we've never put it back up. So I'm gonna put it back up. I'm gonna show you exactly what happened inside the Department of Education when we walked in on July 18th. So first, I'm gonna show you what happened when we went in there on July 18th. Then I'm gonna show you what's about to happen right now. Stick around for the end, you're gonna love this one. Today we're at the Department of Education in Columbus, Ohio. It's a beautiful uh, sculpture out here, see that? That's kind of cool. Um, so we're, uh, we're just gonna pop in here. I kind of suspect um, these guys might have uh, an attitude problem because they are right next door to the Columbus City Hall where we have had repeated problems and now they're they didn't have a, uh, a religious exemption for people who are Amish that want to come visit City Hall. Can you believe that? Yes, sir. You go ahead and call the police and have the police tell me that I can't take pictures in City Hall. Sir? My name is Mike Norton. I'm with KULT News. You want to explain to me why you're trying to violate my constitutional rights? What is going on? We have, we have employees at City Hall at the front desk that refuse to identify themselves. So let's go ahead and just pop in here and see how we're doing here, shall we? Department of Education. It's a beautiful building. Oh, let me flip that around. Are you right, sir? No, I'm okay, thank you. I can't, I'm sorry? Is this not a public building? What do you mean I can't videotape in here? It's, I'm, I'm in a public building, why would I not? No, it's, it's working. Yeah, but you can't videotape me here. But I, what do you mean? I am videotaping, why, of course I can. Well, I'm, I'm so confused. Yeah, I am, yes, but I'm so, why would I not be able to videotape in, in the lobby of the Department of Education? That makes no sense. You have, you can't, you're not. This is a beautiful lobby. Sir, you cannot videotape me. But yet I am. Okay. I'm, I'm a little, why would I not be able to videotape? You tell me I can't take pictures and video in the lobby of the Department of Education. Sir, why are you, you got a camera on me? Because you're the one that's telling me in the Department of Education that Sorry. I can't take photos or videos. Sorry. Can I take photos in here? No. So I can take no photos and no video you, in the lobby of the Department of Education. You can videotape me here, sir. You can videotape outside. 
please help me understand why I can't. I, I know I'm, you're just saying something. If you said to me, sir, you can't, you can't, you can't wear a red hat in here. Would that be right? This is a policy, I'm assuming. I'm just asking. I'm giving you policy. Okay. So you can't video me. But this is a policy you're saying, right? Sir, May you can't video me here, sir. Sir, I am videotaping in here. Okay, sir. You're saying I can't, but but yet, but yet I am. Right now, I'm videotaping right now. So okay. you keep saying you can't videotape in here. I am videotaping in here. Okay, let me call the second. Why would I not be able okay. to? Okay. But help me understand, why would I not be sir, able to videotape in here? Can you show me the policy? Sir, can't videotape in here. Can you show me the policy? I think you're I making this up, sir. I'm sorry, what's your name? Hold on. Can I get your name? No, sir, hold on a second. I'm gonna call my, I'm gonna call my manager. Sir. I understand, but could I get your name? You can't. You, wait, wait, you won't tell me your name? No, are you wearing a name tag? Are you wearing a name badge? You're not gonna seriously hide your name Why badge. are you videotaping, sir? Why are you hiding your name Why are badge? You I May I be frank with you, sir? In my experience, okay. when somebody refuses to give their name, okay. it's for one of two reasons. No, sir. They are either ashamed of their behavior no. or they're ashamed of the name their daddy gave them. So which one are you gonna change? Your Hold behavior on. or your name? Okay, I don't call my manager up here. And she can discuss I it. think that's a pretty reasonable question, sir. Why are you hiding your identification? I try to see your name badge, and you are hiding it from me, and you refuse to identify yourself. Unacceptable. Please, please have your manager come down here. I think she needs to set you straight on 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 your behavior. This is disturbing to me that you you refuse to identify yourself. No, I don't have to, sir. You don't have. Why do you wear a name badge then? It's for you, sir. She's on her way up here. She can talk to you. Are you this man's supervisor no, by chance? Not. No. You're not this man's supervisor, are you? He's the boss of me. I think he thinks he's the boss of everybody. No, sir. He is. He's the gatekeeper. <laughs> You're the gatekeeper. Is she in the building? Is she? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And to be clear, you have no intention of identifying yourself. Sure. All right. You know, after all I've went through, um... This will be fascinating to see how anybody could rationalize not being able to record or take pictures in a public lobby. It just makes no sense to me. I can, she can stand here and help you out too. I'm sorry? So I got Andrew to come up. He just came up videotaping Tony. He said that I can't take pictures or video in the lobby. What are you taking pictures for? What? I mean, is, if there's a. I'm the director of communications. Yeah. I understand. But does, does there. I mean, it's a beautiful lobby. Why would I not want to take pictures? I'm taking pictures of everything Supreme Court down here, City Hall. I'm taking pictures all over the place. And I'm just. He's telling me that. It's against the policy to take pictures or video in the lobby of the Department of Education, and he refuses to identify himself. I asked for his name. This guy? I asked for his name. He hid his name badge. He won't tell me his name. Oh, oh, there you go. You just need somebody else to tell you it's appro appropriate. What's your name, sir? Well, you don't have to. Hurry. Well, I'm no. I'm very upset by this. I walk in this building. The second I walk in, this man. I'm just. I'm just traveling through, taking pictures and video of all the really cool buildings you guys have here. And believe it or not, some of them are very cool. You got a piece of art out here that blows my freaking mind. So I took pictures and I took video of it. Then I walked into the publicly accessible lobby to see what was going on in here. I'm glad you find this amusing, sir. I'm not. I'm talking to myself. Well, it seems like you're pretty, pretty amused by this. I walk in a public lobby and the first thing you say is you can't take video in here. The hell I can't, respectfully, sir. Sir, we don't need to swear. Exactly. Oh, please, it's uh, the hell, really? The hell I can't? Sorry, um, what were you taking the photos for, just for yourself? I'm the director of communications here at the Department of Education, just curious. Well, you know what, you know what, you know what curiosity did the cat? Did, did leave me alone and let me do my job. That's all I want. I want what to be- your job? You my job is to take pictures and video in public. So you, um, you can't come in here and be combative to people. So, the man just told me I can't take pictures and video in a public lobby. I'm not being combative with him, but I will look at him in the eye and say, I will look at him in the eye when he tells me I can't take pictures and video in the lobby. I will look him in the eye and say, the hell I can't. And if that offends somebody, it's preposterous. I'm sorry. It does offend me. Hell? Yeah, it does. Whatever offends you. The kindergarten class? This is absolutely bizarre to me. 
am I am I berating the man for saying that I can't? Yeah, sorry you're so offended by. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, wait, wait. To be, to be clear, I don't want to. I am taking pictures and video in the lobby. So I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page that what I'm doing is completely legal. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Your supervisor is on her way down, right? She's my, yes. she's my this, facility manager. Is this a supervisor you called? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll stick around. Right. I want to make sure we're all on the same page for this. Right. Yeah, but he, I mean, but he, if, if Troy doesn't want his photo taken, he can't have his photo taken or video. You're a public servant, Troy. You're a public servant. And I don't want, I don't want my photo. Taken. You're in a public lobby, man. Well, then you shouldn't stand in a public lobby, ma'am. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. We're in a public lobby. I can call a highway patrol over and they can take their photos. Please do. I would be happy to take their photos. I, I would suggest you don't abuse the 911 system and call 911. A man with a camera is not an emergency. Right here, man, in the middle. I would like that sense. So you're Troy's boss, then, correct? May I get I'm your... I'm the facility manager okay. of this building. And may I ask your name? Angela. My name is Mike. Hi, Mike. I'll tell you what. Since, I'm since we're... Since so we're upset. You're, I mean, I just came up to find out... Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you. If I was, say, Asian, and I walked in here and he said, Oh, oh no Asian folks. Oh, oh wait, wait. He would so, never do that. But saying the First Amendment doesn't apply here is just as offensive to me. He told me I can't take photos and video in the lobby. Troy, have you been educated? Have you educated him on this? I said that you could take photos and video, but if people don't want their photo or video taken, including myself, which I'm sure you're videotaping me right now. I am. I don't want my video taken. Okay. So I understand that, but then you shouldn't stand that's in a public. Not right. No, it's not, because you're in it's public. Not right. No, it's not, because you're in public. Don't you understand and that? And you're trying to provoke. I'm not trying to provoke anything. I'm trying to. I'm trying to educate about the First Amendment. You're trying to provoke. Is it provoking? I'm ask you to come and educate. There's cameras. Oh, look at this. There's cameras there and there. There's cameras all over this place. So, just a friendly reminder to our viewers at home, they always watch us and record us. It seems to be a problem when we record them. So, I, I mean, do I need to, am I waiting for, I don't know what you're waiting well, I thought you were calling the highway patrol or something. Hmm. All right. So we're all on the same page and you've educated, I guess, Troy. Troy, you're educated now that you know that people can take photos and video in the, in the lobby. We're on the same page there, right? And Troy, you, you know that it's okay for you to identify yourself to people when they come in the building and ask your name. All right. Well, it seems like we're all on the same page more or less then. Although the boss seems to think that people have a right to privacy in public lobbies. I, I think we're all on the same page as far as my right to walk in here and record videos and photos. So I'm going to go ahead and head out. You guys have a good day. This has been a First Amendment audit, and you have failed miserably. Oh, I should add, I'm doing a little bit different here, too. I'm not going with my big tripod thing, my monopod. I don't have my backpack and my mic on me. I have a hat on this time. I have no glasses, and I'm wearing a face mask. So... When I walk in, if Troy is the same one at the front desk, he won't recognize me. At least I hope he doesn't recognize me. <laughs> huh? No? You got some pictures there. What the? Hang on.
You know what I like about you, Troy? You seem to learn from your past mistakes. I like that. For half a second, we both know what you're going to tell me. But then you decided not to. See, now the, the trick is, our governor up there, the chick, Troy, is that, whoo, this is why I carry my tripod, because my little hand doesn't shake. The trick is, you respect everyone's First Amendment rights and not just those that know the law. So, congratulations, you're doing better. And, once again, I'm in here to take pictures of all the artwork, which I might add, last time I was here, none of this was in. Now, the $64,000 question here, Troy, is, do I spend five minutes photographing all the artwork and then being on my merry way, or do you try to tell me that I can't take photos in the public lobby of the Department of Education, call the police, and I sit around here and wait for 45 minutes? You seem like you've learned enough to know because, you know, the last video got taken down. And see, I know why the last video got taken down, Troy. This video won't be taken down. And this video is going to be seen by probably 50,000 people in the next 48 hours. And those 50,000 people are going to be happy, Troy, that you have learned your lesson, that this is a public lobby and the public can take photos. So... That was really cute that you asked me to, you know, that you're sir. But we both know where you're going to go with that, and I'm just glad you didn't. That's a really cool one, by the way. Emerson Grill? Very cool. These are talented kids. Dunbridge Eastwood High School. Check that one out. I like this one. Cassie Little. Very good, Cassie Little. All right, there you go. All right, Troy, I assure you, I will not be the last one to come in here at the camera. And I want to let you know I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. He's learned his lesson. Very good. The last time I came in here at the camera, he was flipping out saying you can't take pictures in the lobby. You put pictures of kids' artwork in this beautiful lobby and then tell people they can't take photos. I don't think so. We both know better, don't we, Troy? You have yourself a good day, Troy. I'll pop back in in a couple months and check you up on check up on you again. There you go. That's the Department of Education. So, never say don't. You can't teach an old dog new tricks because I think we taught we taught Troy there a new trick, huh?